This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hey everyone, this is Michelle Byrne. We're at the Global Pet Expo 2018, and I am at the Pet Maid booth with Brandon McMillan. So exciting! Brand new first day. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Back at the Global Pet Expo, so this place is always exciting to come to. So this is really exciting for you because you're at the Pet Maid booth. Anything new and exciting with Pet Maid? And then you won an award, and we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> We're here promoting the, uh, my training products. So I have uh, the Shake and Break, of course, and the Lure Stick. Both are actual training products. And um, the reason why I, ma- I made these, or Pet Made, I made these is because uh, we found a big hole in the market. There's a lot of toys, a lot of stuff like that. There's very few actual training products. So we saw a huge gap. And the reason why there's not a lot of training products is because typically it takes a trainer to make them. And um, so there's there's not a lot of trainers out there that can think of you know stuff that really hasn't been done yet so Petman and I we we thought of two really practical products in the market that right now that have never been done in history and I heard that they were so successful that they sold out and twice. luckily wow they sold out twice now there are more in the market now and then where can people find them you can find them of course at petmade.com or you can you can also go to amazon.com and get them yeah we sold we sold out twice very quickly so the first time we sold out we sold out in i think uh, a matter of 2 weeks wow yeah and that was thousands of units and then uh, they i think they tripled or quadrupled the order for the next one and we sold out in less than a month so that, it's a good problem amazing. to have it's yeah. a great problem to have but we sold out, and um, it's it's taken a, a little while for the next shipment to come in. It should be here any day now, either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. And we we quadrupled the last quadruple order <laughs> once again. Well, definitely a good problem to have, and it definitely shows how how good the product is. Now, people all over, I don't know who doesn't know this, but you are also the host of Lucky Dog, and. That is a program for training as well, right? Different training. What it, tell people who have not heard about it what it is. Lucky Dog is it's a story about second chances. So in every episode of Lucky Dog, I, I go to a kill shelter and I rescue a dog that's either going to get put down that day or he's on his final days. And then I bring him back to what's called the Lucky Dog Ranch. I rehabilitate the dog. I assess what they know and what they don't know. And then I train it tailor-made for the family it's going to. Sometimes... Uh, it could be a service dog, it could be a therapy dog, it could be a dog for, it's always dogs for purpose. Um, there's not one person um, that, that contacts me these days that wants a dog just for a pet. It's, it's, it's maybe to, uh, they lost something in life. A lot of, a lot of uh, women lost their husbands, a lot of fathers lost their sons, you know, in war. And so the dog is almost like new beginnings for them. For what you do, that's amazing, especially, I've heard there's so much trauma going on lately with, just a lot lately, with shootings and there's sexual cases and all all this other crazy stuff. So for what you're doing, that's amazing. How many dogs have you rescued so far, would you say? Uh, Total, oh man, I've got to be at least approaching a thousand by now. Yeah, I mean, just on the show alone, I've done 110, 111. That's just the show alone. So the show only covers a small part of my life, though. I think you're my hero because I have such an, I just have such an affinity for, for rescue dogs. And my dream is to have a big ranch and to be able to have tons of dogs and just have them all, no dogs euthanized, no dogs killed. Yeah. But no, but I know that's... That's, why, that's, that's exactly why I did it, you know. I saw there, look, there's, a, there's an epidemic going on in all over the world, actually. Millions of dogs get euthanized because they can't find homes. You know, so it's happening right here and, you know, right in, right in our own towns, you know. And so I, I saw, it's not like, I didn't invent the theory of rescuing a dog. I just, I decided to become a warrior for the cause. And you are. And you're so right because so many, my dog that I rescued, Mr. Z or Zeus, he was returned to the shelter because I think when the, one of the little kids pulled his tail, the dog growled or something. And he's very meek. So, I mean, that wouldn't even need much. But I see that how people are misinformed when they, when they do adopt and yeah. how watching your show or, you know, just paying attention or realizing what you do makes a difference when they adopt it themselves. Yeah, for exactly. the You know, the dogs you can't get to. 
Okay, let's get back to training products where people have gotten a dog. So they're out now, and there's two major products, right? Yeah. And let's. What are they? Uh, one's called the Shake and Break, and the Shake and Break is a. It's pretty much a one-stop shop tool to stop pretty much all bad behavior in its track. So if your dog's an excessive barker, your dog's a chewer, your dog's a digger, your dog uh, actually gets aggressive. It's been proven time and again the dogs they get startled by certain noises. They'll stop doing what they're doing. And so what I did was I, I created a product that actually has a very distinctive noise. One side's metal and one side's plastic. And one of those sides is going to work for your dog when you shake it. And so it, um, I've said this a million times. Look, dog trainers, they charge too much money. <laughs> they do. I think, I think we all do. But believe it or not, most dog trainers would come to your house. You'd pay them two, or $300 a pop. And they would come to your house with a product just like mine and stop your dog you know, doing the bad behavior right in its tracks. And I'm saving you two, three hundred bucks an hour with this with this product. I'm literally cannibalizing myself in the, in the industry. I'm cannibalizing my own industry uh, with a tool because I don't believe that anybody should, um, if they don't, if they can't afford it or they don't have a lot of money, I don't believe those people should, you know, they should be uh, outcasts and they, they can't help their dogs. So that was the whole theory behind the product. I wanted to make a product cheap enough where anyone could afford it and um, it'll pretty much stop bad behavior in its tracks. And the other tool is called the lure stick. And the lure stick's a very interesting tool. It's a, it's a training tool that basically it's great for teaching obedience. So um, you'd have to see it. It's hard to explain, you know, without uh, demonstrating. What but it's, it, What does it look like? It, ah, not like nothing you've ever seen. <laughs> it look, okay. It looks like a Smurf in a little... <laughs> okay. A Smurf in a little... In a little, uh, something the size of a pepper spray canister. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, but it extends out about uh, two and a half feet. And you put a, a treat in the end of it. And you could teach your dog to do all kinds of stuff. You could, it's, it's, it's force-free training, basically. Instead of um, teaching your dog a heel, where you gotta constantly pull on the, on the throat and collapse the trachea, you can teach him to heal, basically, with this tool, with no leash at all. It's pretty incredible. It's also really good for redirecting bad behavior. So if the dog's getting aggressive with another dog on leash, all you have to do is pull this tool out, and you can actually you can redirect them right in their tracks. There's a million, there's a million uses for it. In fact, a lot of the people that have bought them They've actually said, oh my God, I've, I've tried this too. And it was, the cool thing about it is the customers who are buying it, they're actually creating more more uses for this tool than I ever thought of. That's fabulous. And um, lastly, congratulations on the Purina Award that you won. It is the Purina. I know it's a longer name than this, but I'm sorry, Purina. I'm shortening it a little. It's ex for excellence in the pet industry. Yeah. And I... I've been here for many years when they've given it out, and I think you are well deserving of it. So I'm so happy to see that you received it. I, I appreciate that. I've, I look, I've been paying dues in this industry since I was a kid, and so awards like this, they mean, they really mean a lot to me, you know, because it, it goes to show you that sometimes the fighters who fought, you know, for a long time that thought we were forgotten, maybe, uh, maybe we're not. So, so I'm gonna, I'm. I'm going to accept this this award, you know, in honor of all the people just like me out there who continue to fight. Well, a big congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate and, and, it. And have a great rest of the show. You too. Hi, everyone. This is Michelle Fern at Global Pet Expo 2018. So excited. I am at the booth, uh, the poop shoot booth. Well, it's more than poop shoots. I'm at the booth with Loretta Sweat and Paul Canella and Edward Logan. And we're going to talk about what Loretta's doing with these different products to give back to military animals. Uh, welcome. So nice to interview you. I've idolized you for years. For people that don't know, I mean, you've been on MASH. So this mm -hmm. kind of... Tell people about you. Tell people about yeah. myself. <laughs> yeah. There aren't too many who out there who don't know that I'm an animal activist and have been all my life. I used to say it's my other career and my agent would say no, it's her main career because <laughs> that was uh, my, my great push for animals since I'm a kid. But why am I here today though? Well, pushing these wonderful new products that my friends have designed like the poop shoot for example. I don't know how many times when you've gone out and walked your dog and you're in the middle of the park and you go, oh damn, I didn't bring a poopy bag. And so this wonderful thing gets attached right by your doorway so that there's no way, I mean, you have to really be dumb and stupid to miss this. <laughs> and so you just quickly take your little poopy bag from the poop chute and, yeah, you know, and so um, things like that. What I love about what I'm seeing is that the products are not only great for animals, 
but they're great for human animals. And I'd like to keep emphasizing our bonding. This is, this is who we are. We're animals. We keep forgetting that. So that's another thing. Uh, the main thrust here with um, Ed and Michael, uh, you've seen uh, from back-to-back -back missions to the backyard. We're into warrior dogs uh, and war dogs. But wait, can I just ask you, you have the poop shoot, but you, there's two other products as well that are in, in that you're working with too, right? Uh, is it yeah. two oh, others? Two, two others? Yes. Catfidence? So, yes, right. And uh, the other cat, one yeah. is, there's just the poop bags themselves. Yeah, that, so right. yes. with the net proceeds of all of these, I think it's 10% of the net proceeds, um, they're going to... to Sweetheart Animal Alliance. And my friend Franny is here from Ayla's Acres where I'm on the board. The alliance is the operative word. All the yeah. funding goes out yeah. to who needs it, whether it's Bidawi or Farm Sanctuary or, or Wildlife Way Station Exotics or whatever. That really is what Alliance is all about. That's what I'm trying to do, bring everybody together on one page and we're helping each other because we're all doing the same thing. We have the same goals. So there you are. Well, thank you so much for that. And so what, in talking to Paul and Edward a little bit earlier, what your, what your alliance is doing is mm -hmm. taking military dogs that are actually serving in yeah, other countries. Yeah, we, we don't do that. We support. Oh, you support yeah. that. Okay. For example, there was recently this uh, film about how difficult it was for this, um, um, I don't know I, whether she was a Marine or I'm not, whatever. She uh, was not allowed to take her animal companion war dog back home with her and it took forever to get license and uh, options to do that. We're going we're gonna to make that easier. The, the teams should stay together. I'm also involved with POWs. I did a, a documentary about POWs and I've also done fundraisers for an organization called Pets for Vets where we actually match up the vet with a dog, whether it's a war dog or a, a, an animal companion. This is very very important, not only because of the innate bonding, a vet deserves this unconditional love that we're about to give them with, uh, you know, what else, how else can we repay them for what they've done? Right, well, exactly. So, so this is a very big deal uh, with us about you know, I'm so glad you're here supporting this and bringing more attention because it's such an important thing. You know, when, I mean, I've interviewed vets and PTSD is real. So Absolutely. many, so real. There's so many, that, you Just know, Just watch my documentary about yeah, PTSD. Yeah, it's, you know. um, where can people find your documentary? Is it airing now or can uh, they actually, look for uh, it? You or? Can, I, actually, you can... Uh, Go on my website and ask about it, and I'll, I'll stir you. Just go on my website, which is www.sweetheart.com, capital S, capital H, and I'll, I'll stir you to the right person. Okay, wonderful. Well, lastly, where can people find the products that are supporting working with it? Here we go. Okay. Uh, uh, introducing, ta-da. <laughs> you, you take over now. Yeah. All right. Well, thank oh, you also, so much. Same thing for my book. Uh, also, the proceeds okay. go straight to the alliance. And Sweetheart. At Sweetheart.com. Okay, and, yeah. the, and the, your book, where can people find it? Hello, Sweetheart.com. Okay. Just get online. Dot org. At, Dot at, org. At, uh, uh, Amazon? At, yeah, no, yeah. because they keep 55% of the profits, oh. which should be going to animals. And if you buy it online from me, it all goes to the animals. Ah. I don't Listen, one thing, get Thank it on, you for so. all you do. Okay. That's so wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Now, where can people find these wonderful products? Yeah, so anybody can contact me for uh, any three, all three of the products. So again, it's Paul Canella, and it's just Paul at poopbags.com, and we can uh, set up anything for cat fittings, for the poop shoot, or for any of our models of uh, poop bags. Okay, and where pe can people buy the product? Is it on the market now? Yes. Yeah, so poop bags are available in mostly pet independence all across the country, all across North America, really. Uh, the poop shoot and Caffidence are brand new, so we're just debuting them here at Global. So, uh, you know, if you're in the, in the pet industry, reach out to your distributors, ask them to pick it up and have them contact us. Otherwise, contact us direct and we can ship out direct for the time, time being. Okay, and website is? Uh, poopbags.com, so P-O-O-P-B-A-G-S.com. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for your time. Okay.
The only thing I'd like to add to that, just one little thing I'd like to add. So I conceived of this idea because there are over 2,000 service dogs that are left on the battlefield today. Actually, Uh there's 1,894 of them exactly. But it's about $20,000 to $25,000 to bring them home. So I've invented 12 products, the first of which is the poop shoe. And before I even had it brought to the market, I contacted this guy and I said, listen, I want to combine our products as manufacturers and I want to make sure that we give back so that we're not just sort of socially, not just sort of uh, environmentally conscious, which is what they're known for, but that we're socially conscious. So we're not just, we're we're two manufacturers that have combined three products. You can get them online. You can also go, we're looking for other distribution. But the more we sell, the more we solve. And that's the truth. So 10% of the proceeds and the profits for Poop Shoot, for, for example, will go for the rest of the year, will go to solve this. And we're going to eradicate the problem. It's not just going to be good enough to get five or six of the dogs back. We're not going to stop until we get all of them back. We are looking for other manufacturers, retailers, not just to buy the product or distributors to get the product into retail, but others that want to join it and maybe identify products that they'd want to put as part of it as well. So that some of their products, the faster, the more we can sell with other products as well, other companies' products, the faster we eradicate the problem. Well, at Global, you're in the right place. We are. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot, you know. Well, thank you so much. What a great thing that you're doing. Thank oh, you thank very you. much. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. We're just going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. I love cleaning the litter box, said no one ever. Luckily, there's World's Best Cat Litter, the litter that promises less mess with less litter. Only World's Best Cat Litter uses the concentrated power of corn to quickly trap odors in tight clumps. And quick clumping means you never have to chisel or scrape the box. Less cleanup with less wasted litter? That's a litter bit amazing. Save $2 on World's Best Cat Litter. Visit www.saveonworldsbest.com. Does your dog itch, scratch, stink, or shed like crazy? Come to Dynavite for help. Order a 90-day supply of Dynavite. Pick up two bottles of Licker Chops, get the third bottle free. New improved Licker Chops with omega-6, omega-3, vitamin E, and now six extra direct-fed microbials. Even better for the digestive tract and immune system. And dogs love it. Try Licker Chops. Buy two, get one free. This is Henry Lukasiewicz for Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Let's talk pets. Let's talk pets on Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. PetLifeRadio.com. Hello, pet fans. This is especially for all you friends of felines. I'm with Jackson Galaxy, the cat daddy. I'm so nice to talk to you again. Thank you. It's good to be with you guys. You always have, well, you have from your show, The Cat From Hell, great advice, great info. We were just talking about your wrap-up show that's going to be aired soon about feral cats and how to take care of them. But today, we're going to talk about some great new products that you have out there. So first, I want to talk about, you have this great toy called Kickers. Mm -hmm. So what is the Kicker? The kicker is just, I mean, it looks like a, what does it look like? A little baseball bat kind of thing. And it's just a a long, tubular, stuffed toy. And cats just love it because it it wakes up their hunting instinct. When they get the grip of something like that, their instinct takes over to kick it with their back paws, to give it the all four paw wrap around and kick it, put a little catnip in it to attract them to it. And we've got three different types now. We've got just the regular stuffed one. We've got one that when they kick it, it bends so that, again, it mimics their prey. And another one that makes a ripping sound when they do it, which is, you know, gross but great. You know what I mean? It's all about hunting. It's all about hunting. And every toy I've got top to bottom is about hunting. And then you also have a great cat scratcher because we all know cats need something to scratch, and this is a lot better than your couch. Right. And, I mean, listen, we have to... If there's one thing I know is the excuses that cat guardians make up and down. Um, I can't afford, I can't have. We're making it so that you have no excuses, you know? I mean, when you take a look at how much some scratchers cost and the fact that we've got stuff made out of corrugated cardboard, but really heavy-duty corrugate, that your cats can scratch on something. We make it so that we're giving you the option to scratch in one scratcher. You can position it vertically, horizontally, or at an angle, and get to know how your cat likes to scratch. From there, 
build up your world, you know, get more. You have to have things to scratch on if you're going to complain to me about your cat scratching your couch. You know, you got to give them a positive outlet. And we got that. And that makes sense. I mean, if cats need it, all cats need to scratch, right? right. I mean, and, it's vital. And just as vital, they need their claws. You know, we oh, have yes. to, we have to outlaw declawing all the way around. And the way to do that is to give your cats positive outlets. So there's never the excuse to declaw them. There should never be an excuse. I absolutely agree. Now, you also have some great new grooming tools that are out. Yep. Brushes, nail trimmers. And I, I saw their nail trimmers and I'm going to get them for my crew because Good. the nail trimming the nails is one of the challenges. I know that they still need their nails trimmed, right? Even if they oh, use yeah. a scratcher. No, no. Cats need, I would say on the average of every three to four weeks, you should be trimming your cat's nails. Because if you think about the damage they do to your furniture, it's because of the points on there. And when they scratch, sure, it's very healthy for them, but all it does is file down those points a little bit more. So trimming is absolutely vital. And I know people have a lot of trouble with it. One of the great things about the trimmers that I have right now are the adjustable heads to them. So no matter where you're sitting, you don't have to position yourself to get a good grip of your cat's claws. But I think just as important, and we've had shows about this, I have videos about it, it's about you making a big deal out of it. You know, if you go up to your cat and you're like, okay, honey, this is not a big deal. It's all gonna be okay. And all she hears is blah, 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 everything's on fire. You know what I mean? You have to treat it as no big deal. Do it when they're sleeping. They're sleeping next to you. They're a little drowsy. Start with handling their paws. Don't try to clip right off the bat. Just touch. Touch their paws, reward them. Touch, reward. Then go to pressing so that their nails come out. Then reward. Then, listen, if you've got to do one nail and call it quits for the day, do that. You know, don't make it into a trial for them. Make it just part of their day. And besides just, you know, they'll scratch the furniture or whatever, it's healthy for them to have their nails trimmed. Yeah, yeah. no, it's absolutely, I mean, listen, if nails grow long enough, they start curling in onto themselves, they're going to get caught in their own pads. They're going to get caught on the carpet. We know plenty of cats who've had their nails ripped out just by getting caught on the carpet. You know, so yeah, no, it's vital. Okay, and you have brushes as well. Yeah, we have a, a variety of different brushes. Where again, I'm trying to make it so that you get to know your cat's preferences better. So whether they're the metal sort of teeth, uh, whether they're more of the plastic type of teeth that are more uh, spaced out. This way you get to know who your cat is. And don't forget, brushing is also very important. Stimulating the, the glands in your cat to release its natural oils, that's important so that they then groom themselves so that they then don't mat up. You know, it's, it's just very important to brush your cats. And then lastly, you have a new type of litter box, yes, a round do. one. Yeah. So what is, well, well we, you have square two. Yep, what, we, have, we have a number of different ones. The one that I'm actually really proud of, and listen, I'm proud of the whole damn thing. But we have the Lunar Lifter Scoop, and this one is basically everything I always wanted in a litter scoop and what my clients have always wanted. I mean, I haven't been in the field for 20 years for nothing. I mean, people are always complaining about their litter scoops. And, you know, anything that gets in the way of you having more cats is something I have to tackle. Another thing that I really love is this litter box here that has the opaque top to it. So instead of having a lid, I'm not a big fan of lids on litter boxes. So this way it is high enough to accommodate the ones I call elevator butts. The ones who when they're peeing, they just start raising their butts as they pee and pee all over the walls and whatever. This way we take care of elevator butts. But the really cool thing is if you have a multi-cat household, this lid here makes it so that the cats on the inside can see cats on the outside and vice versa. So nobody gets ambushed in the litter box. Ambushing in the litter box makes it so your cat never goes back to the litter box again because it's not a safe place anymore. Oh, so, they, so if one's already in the stall, so to speak, yes. in the box, the other one doesn't come in. Right. Same thing with dogs. Same thing with kids. You know, the, the litter box is a sacred place, man, and, and we have to make sure that it stays that way. And you have so many great products. Now, where can people find your products? Well, right now, the best place to find them is PetSmart. PetSmart uh, carries most of my stuff but also online. You can go to jacksongalaxy.com uh, slash store and get everything I got, you know? And uh, it's available wider and wider. We're really trying to concentrate on local dealers and uh, 
But in the meantime, if you can't find it, just go to my, my online store. Thank you so much for your time and for giving us all this great info and telling us about your new products. Have a great show. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.